Hey everyone, welcome into my channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline, and I am sitting in the Goodwill parking lot. This is the Goodwill on Lincoln Highway in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. This used to be my favorite Goodwill, and lately it's still good, but it's not as good as it used to be. I don't know if just more people are shopping or, or it's just not getting as good an inventory as it used to, but I still come here. I love to look at the hard goods. I'm gonna look at the shelves and see what we can find to flip for a profit and I'm bringing you with me. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's go thrifting together. Okay, so we are gonna start down the white aisle. I very rarely start down the white aisle. This is cute. Mornings are what Tiggers do best. That's a cute cup. Oh, is this Maxine? It is Maxine. I guess it's a napkin holder. I don't think it's a bookend. I think it's a napkin holder. That's kind of cute. All right, $5. And I'm going to have to look that up because I haven't found anything of Maxine in a long time. I'm going to put that in my cart. Boy, I'm not even in the store five minutes. I think the stuff just finds me. Oh, isn't this the truth? I need coffee and vacation. I was hoping to book a vacation soon, but it hasn't happened yet. Let's see what else is on the white aisle. That's cool, Fenwick Island. I don't imagine this would bring a lot, but I kind of like the sign. Let's look at the back of it. Hmm, I wonder if somebody would want that. I don't imagine it would bring a high profit. I bet you you could get these easy enough on like Amazon or something, so I'm gonna leave that one behind. This looks like a Ray Dunn. Stephanie, my girlfriend Stephanie would probably love this. I'll have to let her know there's a Stephanie mug waiting for her. I don't even know if she's a coffee drinker. I don't think she is. There's another napkin holder. It's a napkin holder kind of day. And it's funny because I just threw out my napkin holder. I've had it for, oh, probably 25 years. And I had bought it at Dollar Tree. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, time for a new napkin holder. So we'll see if we find napkin holders today. Oh, this is kind of cute. Is this right done again? It is, $9.99. I think I'm gonna look that up kind of heavy. I don't know who's donating their Ray Dunn. I don't see any chips on it. I'm gonna put that in the cart. I just sold a Fiesta uh, dog dish. And I don't remember what it went for, but it brought good profit. What in the world? Huh. Is this pretend? Am I being silly? Probably being silly. This probably looks, but that looks like a real license plate. I'm gonna leave that. All right, what's on this side? A polka dot teapot. It's an enamel. It's got a little chippy going on. Kate Spade. Oh, that's a shame that it's chipped and lost its top. It's just having all kinds of problems. It's a very fun aisle. Another Maxine cup. Gourmet gifts. All right. I think that finishes up the white aisle. Oop, hold the phone. Hold the phone. What is this? Ooh, that's pretty. Huh. So it has a hole on the bottom and a hole on top. Lampshade. Could be that it sets in a lamp. I definitely like this daisy pattern. I don't think it's that translucent. Oh, a little bit. So if you did a candle in it, it would shine through, but I'm pretty sure this is a lampshade. So it is Friday and it is very chilly here in Pennsylvania. So it's making the store a little less crowded. I think when people are outside or maybe getting ready for the holiday, um, the store has a little little less shopping going on. $9.99, I wonder if they're individually marked. I don't sell a lot of these. I used to sell quite a bit of this. This is probably, this is towel. So when I look at stuff like this, I have to comp each individual piece because I don't know all of the patterns. Very pretty, but that would take a lot of polishing. There's a bowl over here. I never want to get lazy and not check to see if they're sterling or not. That does not look to be sterling. I don't know what that says. All right, for this stuff, I definitely need glasses. 
I'm going to take a look at this. I like the way this one looks. And I'm going to take my glasses out and see what the markings say. Okay, so I just looked this up. I did take a screenshot of it, or take a photo of it rather, and it is silver plate. A little bit hard to read. I kind of like that design, but for silver plate, it doesn't really have it set with it. So I'm going to put this back where it was in case somebody is interested in the other set. Let's go down the aisle. Kind of like this green glass bottle. $3.99, but that's quite heavy. I don't see any kind of marking. All right, so we are starting down the, I guess this was originally the brown aisle, but there are lots of colors on this aisle. Let's see what else we can find. What is this little piece? This looks to be olive wood. Oh, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so it has a handle and no clue. Hmm. I'm gonna leave that one. I almost thought like little nuts go in it, but that wouldn't even make sense. Okay. Oops, somebody made this. Oh, it's from Michael's. Halloween. $44.99 and now they're $9.99. That almost looks like one of the Dollar Tree hack um, decorations where people make things from different pieces of Dollar Tree. This is the other side of the brown aisle. I'm seeing this wallet here. It's an imitation ostrich leather. Kind of cool. NYC. With its checkbook. Hmm. Kind of nice. I don't know that NYC would make anything um, genuine out of genuine ostrich. Oh, do we see it? It's good. Oh, let it be good. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is a good find. Look at this, just waiting for me. A vintage metal eagle oh, that I'm banging around. Now this is not brass. It is flash painted, but I think this will still do well. $6.99, not bad. He is going right in my cart. Eagles are still a thing for many people. All right, what else do we see? Oh, carved box. Oh, this is a lovely box. Hopefully it's in good condition. $6.99 seems to be the new price, the new base price at Goodwill. But I really like this box. I think this is just beautiful. I don't see any damage. Up, oh, hold the phone little crack right there hmm don't know if that's gonna matter a lot I'm looking at it Ugh. I'd rather have it be you know in great condition oh and a crack on the bottom I almost got lucky <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one behind and I'm gonna look at this spoon here interesting $3.99 first I thought this was a monkey but it's a man probably for the souvenir trade, but very nicely carved. I think that's all hand carved. I don't know that that many people would like to decorate with something like that. Let's see what else we see. Oh, I see a beautiful plate back here. Who is making this? Hmm, it's very smeary. I don't know what that says. Not even gonna try to read that. Okay, let's put that back. Oh, thank goodness the song ended. They play such loud music in this store. Okay, this is a wooden bowl, $2.99, 2003. That is very interesting. Looks like it might have been given as a, like a momentous trophy or something for somebody. I'm gonna leave that one on the shelf. Okay, this is definitely not vintage, but I like this. Oh. What are they getting for this? Okay, so it was originally sold at Spiegel for $30. It was on sale for $20, $12.99. Oh, his tail is broken. It's always so disappointing. Wondering if you could put sort of like a rope tail or something on him. But for a broken tail, too high at $12.99. I do like him very much though. And Spiegel, I think, is no longer in business. I like the look of that though. I think we're just going to turn around, we're going to make a U-turn and come back down the other side of the aisle, see if anything catches our attention over here. This is, I don't know, their colors are getting very, very mixed. 
Very unorganized. Oh, look what I passed up. How could I have not even seen this? Lavender latte. All natural exfoliating bar soap from Marshall's $3.99 and now Goodwill has it for $2.99. You're saving a whole dollar. <sighs> They're so funny. All right, Red Isle. You know the routine, guys. A lot of times I don't find anything on the Red Isle, but I always look. Okay, I have seen onions this way. I have seen garlic braided. I have never seen apples braided. And I have to say these apples are pretty. They are good quality. This is very heavy. I'm not sure what this is made out of. And I think I might put this in the cart. I just don't know how I feel about apples being braided. Leave a comment down below if you have ever seen apples this way. Very interesting. Who sells this? I might look this up actually. I'm gonna put this in my cart, believe it or not. I'm sure you guys believe it. Let's see if I can do this without breaking them. I think they're made out of like a ceramic. They are quite heavy. Yeah, it seems like a ceramic. So interesting. I am totally convinced that this type of china is gonna come back in style. You never know. Okay, so it is like a little pitcher and bowl. $4.99. I'm surprised they haven't marked both of these separate. So funny. The other day I found like a candy dish and top and they wanted two different prices. One for the candy dish and one for the top to the candy dish. Which was pretty funny. Okay, two sconces. Both $4.99 each. $10. They are kind of pretty. Hmm. Do I want these for $10? That's getting too pricey, I think. They are really nice. Mm, I think I'm gonna put my foot down and leave them behind. I refuse to pay $10 for them. I think the highest I would go for those is six. So I will leave them for somebody else. Oh, do we see Pioneer Woman? Yes, we do. A bow. I look for the bigger pieces of Pioneer Woman, like I said in one of the last videos. I still buy it. Seize the day. <laughs> That's cute. All right, I am looking for treasure. And the store is like a bus has pulled up. There are so many people here. That happened in the blink of an eye. I guess everybody got done with all of their Friday errands and now they're here at Goodwill. All right, I'm gonna try to get over to one of the other aisles. Oh, but before I do, look at this fish, fish pitcher. This is lovely. I don't know that that's old. I think this is newer, but I'm gonna put this in the cart. I'm kind of liking him. I hope he doesn't have a chip. All right, where can I put him? I think somebody's gonna want him. And I'm gonna put him, whoop, right there. So here is one of the red carts that they bring the inventory out on. A Stanley flask. Okay, that's the first time I've seen that. It seems to be older. $3.99. Is this for like drinking on the job? <laughs> I'm gonna run a comp on that. <laughs> when you just have to have like alcohol while you're working, I'm not quite sure. Stanley Tolls, right? Isn't that their logo? All right, we're putting that in the cart. This is all craziness. Okay, I just found this vintage bunny doll who is a thumb sucker. I think his thumb fits in his mouth, maybe. Not sure about that. Feels like he is filled with some sort of little beans and it looks to be vintage. So let's try to flip that tag and see what the tag is saying. Easter Unlimited. So interesting. A lot of sun fading. Look how much he's faded. And it seems like his little hood is unglued. Definitely vintage. Hmm. Do I want that? I think this is gonna take a very long time to sell because his clothing is so faded. Very cute though. I might be leaving him sadly. If he was in good condition, I would look him up, but I don't think he's gonna do well. What is this up here? A monkey candle holder. <laughs> okay, this is quite fun. Oh, what does the tag say? Made in China, why do they write everything so small? Especially as you get older, the writing gets smaller. Okay, he is kind of cool. I don't like the candle, but I like him. I think I'm going to leave him. 
being very picky today. Usually I'm not as picky, but today is a day where I'm just in a picky mood. I see so many of these bed risers. Somebody should come up with a craft for these things. <laughs> We'd all be rich. All right, what else are we seeing? We have some little crawling babies here. Again, these look to be vintage. And again, they seem to be like damaged by the sun. Am I leaving something behind that I should be picking up? Oh, it's a lot of dolls. This looks like a reseller's cast-offs. Somebody already looked them up. All right, what is on this side? Boy, just all kinds of fun things to look at today. Fabric. Charles Craft. Hmm. Oh, it's for cross-stitch. I did not know that cross-stitch fabric comes rolled in a tube. This one. All right. That completes the black aisle. It looks like there's some interesting stuff up there. We're going to go look up there. These candlesticks are interesting. Fitz and Floyd. I did not know that Fitz and Floyd made candlesticks. Huh, that is the first time I have seen that. I'm gonna leave them behind. I don't know that I wanna ship huge candlesticks. And I think those have kind of fallen out of favor. You know, this whole palm leaf design. That was very big there for a while. I think in the 90s, Bombay Company was doing it. Quite a few companies are gonna push that in a little bit so it doesn't fall. Oh. Here is a fake obelisk. Is that what we call that? I'm not sure that I have even that pronunciation correct. Oh, that's interesting. I recently bought, or won, a basket like this, the Boyd's collection. Mine was a little bit different, but about the same size. Okay, so this is the black aisle. I try to stay away from electronics, as you guys always know. Selling electronics is not my thing. Osborne to thrift does a ton of electronics just amazing but I imagine you get a ton of returns and I just I can't even imagine okay I think that's it for this aisle let's go on to the next aisle to me that's one thing that's so funny about reselling one year something can be so hot and then the very next year you can't give this stuff away longer burger baskets have held some value, not as much as they used to sell for, but when I can buy in at a couple of dollars, especially if they're the bigger baskets that have like a holiday attached to them, Easter or Christmas, I always pick them up. Here, this is just a little hanging wall basket for $1.99. Probably get maybe, I don't know, $12 for it, but I'm gonna put that in my cart. Also on the shelf, weights. Now, when we were all locked down, <laughs> Uh, during COVID, weights went for a ridiculous amount of money. You could not um, not make money with weights. And now I see so many of them in the thrift store. I think everybody that wanted weights got their weights during that couple of years. So it's funny. Sometimes you think you find something like a Beanie Baby or, you know, a Hess truck, and they're really not worth much anymore. It might come around again, but I don't think so. Okay, this is interesting. Just a, a souvenir. I kind of like that face. Looks like Gandalf or one of the other wizards, but I will leave him behind for somebody else. Two little silver cups like this always gets my attention. I believe these are both silver plate. This one especially, very interesting. Almost looks like it's to a punch set. And I believe again, this is silver plate, but I'm gonna look this name up. Yep, this is plated because sometimes people are looking for the rest of their punch sets. So when you buy in low, $5, a little bit high, sometimes it's worth looking these things up. I'm gonna put this one in the cart. Okay, just found this little carved horse, definitely vintage on the back shelf, $4.99. His ears look to be good. That's usually where the first damage is done, maybe by the tail, but he seems to be in good condition. We're gonna put him in the cart really like the way this is looking. Now look at these shelves. These are basically Christmas. So many items to go through, but I'm gonna walk down and see what I can find. Oh, look at this. What is this? Wow, I'm gonna have to pull that down and see who's making that. Do I wanna ship that? Absolutely not, but that looks like a good one. We're gonna pull that down and take a look. 
1995 Holiday Creations. Not a real high one, and they want $25 for him. The older ones can bring money. Any of the ones that are animated, battery operated, or plug-in. I think plug-in is usually better. He's pretty good, but not for $25, so I'm going to put him back on the shelf. Here's another red card that got rolled out, and I was looking at these statue figurine uh, pieces made in Poland. I think the faces are nicely done. See the blushing on the fingers? To me, that would mean that this is not well painted. When you find high quality pieces, the blushing is not done like that. It's done more realistically. So these were, you know, just assembly line. I'm sure some of it is hand painted, but look at the back of his braid or ponytail. See the color just off the hair? Not a good sign, but very interesting. I don't know that a lot of people still collect these. I'm sure they are collected if they're if they're really high quality, like a mycin or something like that. But figured I'd show you guys, I see a lot of this and I don't know who's, who's collecting it. Let's take a look at the girl. So here is the girl, again, blushing and a lot of overage. See the blush goes into her eye. The green of her dress is on her arm. <laughs> That's one quick way to tell if something is high quality or not. Sitting on that shelf up there, I didn't notice before these needlepoint. I think this is Hiawatha heirloom. So these are unfinished pieces. Somebody would use these on like the center of chairs or for pillows. And there's four of them. But like I said, unfinished projects. So I think the main part of the design is finished and then you have to fill in the rest with a cream color. I'm not sure if anybody would want these. Definitely vintage. The work seems good. Hmm. And I don't see a price on them. I'm gonna ask to get a price. If they're a couple of dollars, I'm gonna go ahead and get them. I think needlepoint is always desired when it's well done. And people still love this, very classic. I'll take a chance if it's under $5, I'm going to say. Okay, look who surprised me and showed up. <laughs> Even after all this time, it's always a nice surprise. What are you looking at? What do you think of this here? I don't know what the bottom says. I really didn't look at Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm so busy checking his ears and his tail. Yeah, both his legs. Ah, uh, I wonder if I glued, you know, I would still disclose it. What does the bottom say? How do you break his legs? Darn. I thought that was $36. Is that what that says? Yeah. Oh, I'm really angry that I didn't <laughs> see. So busy filming. You miss all the flaws. Yeah, there's no fit. You think if I put crazy glue with that? I think it would. Yeah, he'd would, still have would, broken would, legs, hold, though. Still have yeah. Oh, darn. Legs. That's really disappointing. All right, I guess I have to put him back on the shelf. You think he's hand carved? Yeah, I'm not sure. It kind of looks like it. Right? I was so impressed that his ears were good. <laughs> Any animal that has pointy ears, ears yeah. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very sad. Back he goes. All right. Maybe I shouldn't touch anything else. Shouldn't come tell me my stuff is not good. <laughs> Look at this. You ever see that before? Yeah. Stanley flask. Huh. I thought it was for drinking on the job. <laughs> Maybe there's still some in. <laughs> oh, oh some no! In <gasps> what is it? Is it wine? I don't know. It was... Do you want to? <laughs> 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 we always carry antibacterial wipes everywhere we go. Can you do it? Yeah. Do you want me to do it? You thought you were being funny, right? Yeah, Meanwhile, there is I like, there would be smell your hand. Is it wine? No, I'm not smelling. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, the minute you show up, we're hysterical. <laughs> okay, I got a perfume bottle. Doesn't look, it's pretty, but I don't think this is anything, you know, old or whatever, but $4.99, I'll pick that up. I think I can get 15 for it. All right. Sorry about that. Okay, I guess I'm keeping the fish. This is modern. I don't think this is especially old, but I do like him, $7.
And if I hold on to him for a while and look at him, I won't be mad. All right, so that is what the card is looking like. Most likely this is gonna go back, but everything else I think I'm buying. So I found this little bag, shot glasses, which I'm kind of not interested in, but three duck swizzle stick cocktail stirs look to be vintage, maybe George's Briard. And I'm thinking those will probably go for, I don't know, 15 for the three probably. Especially around the holidays, people love stuff like that, good barware, but four dollars. So I'll go ahead and do that and probably just re-donate the shot glasses. Okay, so while we're standing here, you're welcome. <laughs> I looked up the apples, $28.99, only one sold through, and there's probably an additional five or six listed coming down to $17. So I'm gonna put the red apples back. But meanwhile, I did find Pyrex nesting bowls. Now the Americana is not as good as when I find the pink or the aqua. That's what everybody wants, the mid-century modern ones. These, I don't know. So seven and seven is 14 and four is 18, $18 for a set of bowls that used to cost me four or $5. I'm gonna look them up, but I have a feeling, unfortunately, these are gonna go back too. <laughs> Everybody loves Christmas oh stories. Yeah, for sure. Where's this Hallmark? No. WB. Oh my goodness. So you getting this? No, it's 399 oh. You should put it on your car dashboard. <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> you loved that movie, didn't you? <laughs> Waverly Curtain Toppers. Conundrum. Three fifty dollars a piece. Some stores will put all three because they're matching on a hanger and charge you one price. Again, individually priced. So that's going to be ten fifty for the three. I would want to get at least thirty five for them. Hmm, they seem to be in really nice condition. I don't even know that these have been used. No signs of dust or any kind of, you know, schmutz, <laughs> kitchen schmutz. All right, this is what the tag looks like. I think I'm going to pick these up for ten fifty. Waverly Home Fashions. I think the colorway is good and the print. I think a lot of people would want these. And yeah, probably get 30 for them. Okay, so I ran comps on the gulp dish by Ray Dunn. They want $10. This would probably bring like $14. So this is definitely going back on the shelf. You have to be really careful, especially with the rising prices. You giving this to me? You're so sweet. Thank you. Somebody else just handed this to me. Look at that label. This is beautiful, $8.99. Boy, is that a pretty one. All right, we're gonna do comps on this. I have the best followers. You guys are awesome. You see me in the store and you hand me things when you're not gonna buy them and I so appreciate that. All right, so even though our cart is a little bit pared down, we did get a few things. And I'm still on the fence with this fish, but I love them. I try not to let my heart buy things. $6.99. Yeah, I'm sorry, little fish. You might have to go back. You gotta really be like ruthless. Is that the term? When you're buying stuff for resale. I think he's gonna have to go back. All right, so we will put him on the shelf for somebody else. Where can I put him where he won't break? Look how pretty he is but I'm thinking that's probably like TJ Maxx or something like that. What Roger just handed me, coffee candy. <laughs> he thinks of me. All right, Wonder Art, <laughs> get serious, Lajo kid. A kitty cat, what are they getting for this? See if I can hold my candy and bring this down. Sweetie, can I, oh, I'll put my candy in my pocket. I was gonna say, take those. Could you put those in my pocket? I can't do this holding the camera too, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see what the price is. Everything's all over the place today. Oh, it's a trick. $2.99. I wonder if it's all in there. I'm going to try to say. That's adorable. All right, so that is what's going on. <laughs> Sorry, this video is so crazy, guys. I think I'm going for the hand-woven, I'm going to call this a cocoon sweater. Definitely the valence curtains. I have to get a price on the tapestry needlepoint. If everything's in here, I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna open the box. We're going for that. And I picked up this at the last minute. I love these kind of baskets. I think it's supposed to have a top, but I'm grabbing this anyway. 
and I have to get a price on it. All right, guys, so I'm in the outlet. Check out this table. My friend Eric showed it to me. Mid-century modern, 1960s. This is carved underneath the glass. I don't know what this is. It almost looks industrial, or it could be German countryside. The banding is coming off, but that's an easy enough fix. The legs screw off. These are so mid-century modern. $8 Goodwill wants for it. <laughs> Call me crazy. I think I'm buying this. Look how good this is. Needs a good cleanup, and a little bit of the varnish is scratched. But I think somebody's gonna want that. Look at the style of that. So good. All right, I'm on the fence about stuff like this lately because the big stuff is getting crazy. But for $8, I think I'm buying that. I'll report back on Instagram <laughs> what happens with the German mid-century modern table. All right, that is really it. Love you guys. Hit that like and subscribe button. Go out and get what's yours.